But I, I'm really good at avoiding responsibility. I'm like the Muhammad Ali of avoiding responsibility. Because life throws a jab at me. It's like, Shane, you've been doing this shit for 10 years. It's time to go get a real job. And I slip it with an easy TAFE course. <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it's hard to do shit. By show of hands, just haven't tried to do anything tonight. Yeah, it's really hard, isn't it, right? Don't even put the hand up. Uh, don't even gonna attempt that. But show of hands, who's ever tried to learn the guitar? Yeah, and then for some reason you just stop trying. And like you have your guitar in the corner of your room, just reminding you of what a piece of shit you are and how you can't follow through with anything. Just a monument to your mediocrity there in the corner, right next to the Learn Spanish CD you've never listened to. And that ab swing you bought after a breakup because you were going to get the revenge abs, weren't you? You're going to get those revenge abs. And then it arrived in the mail and it just lived underneath your bed, just like the ad said. It could, oh, look at it, just slides right underneath the bed there. Just, just tucked away. I'm saving space. You know, it's hard to do stuff. Uh, I think it all starts in school because in school they don't give us any practical life advice. They just give us all that useless shit you're never going to use. Like if John's got 10 kilometres... And Sarah's got five dollars. How many apples does Jim have? <laughs> you know, give me some practical life advice. Like if Shane moves 4,000 kilometers because he fell in love with a 40-year-old lesbian, what are the chances he's going to waste six months of his life? <laughs>